Mike Decourt with AWS Airbars. Today I'm going to be showing you uh, a little bit about our electrical control system, how it works, how to diagnose any issues, and how to uh, do a, a few repairs. The system consists of a 12 volt switch box uh, that is powered from power, the accessory power of the combine. This box mounts to the side of the console, somewhere convenient in the cab. Has one switch for controlling the manifold tilt and one switch for controlling the air volume. The harness assembly with a connector at the feeder house to header connection. Harness that runs to the two actuators. We have one actuator that controls the air volume and another actuator that rotates the manifold to align the nozzles and target that air which is controlled by the manifold tilt switch. In diagnosing any issues with the electric actuators, if you can see no physical damage to the actuator and it's not operating, most often it's an issue with a connection somewhere. The first step in diagnosing is to disconnect the connector at the actuator itself. So you're isolating the entire switch box, combine connection, and the connections in the harness. The easiest way to diagnose this issue is to use a battery from your cordless drill. Be it 12 volt up to 24 volt, you're not going to hurt the system. And using a jumper wire, check it in both directions. Each actuator has limit switches in it that will stop it and cut the power when it is fully retracted or fully extended to prevent damaging itself. So if it does not move in one direction, switch the terminals and try it in the other direction. If the actuator works fine, you're going to want to check the pin connections. Sometimes there is debris, dust, dirt gets in uh, into the connection. When you jam it together, the connectors may pull out. That's, uh, that's something where a little compressed air in there, blow that out, clean it up, and then make the connection again. If you've checked your actuator and it works fine, you connect the harness at the actuator, run up to the cab, it's still not functioning. You want to check the connector where the header attaches to the combine. It is a four pin connector and you'll, uh, you'll use the same, the same principle using a jumper wire. We can test in the same way. And we know that our harness from this point on and our actuators are working. The issue is either in this connection on the combine harness or in the switch kit itself. There is four terminals on here marked A, B, C, and D. Terminals A and B are white and green and they are for the fan volume actuator. And then the black and red terminals go on terminals C and D for the manifold tilt. Retracting the manifold tilt actuator moves the manifold nozzle away from the reel. Extending the actuator rotates them in tighter to the reel. 